One question I often get is, how do I keep my piano in tune? Well, after a tuning, it's good to want to know how to make it last. We have to look at what affects the tuning of a piano. There's many factors that can make a piano go out of tune, but the main one is humidity. And not just the level of the humidity, but humidity fluctuations. We have fluctuation from week to week as our weather changes, but there's also the big change every year from summer to winter, moist to dry. So pianos are made of wood, well, mostly wood, the soundboard especially is what's affected by this. The wood fibers absorb moisture, and then in the dry seasons they release that moisture, and in doing so, the wood swells and contracts. If you look in your panel, you'll notice that the strings are actually mounted on the plate, the cast iron plate, and that isn't affected by the humidity. They're anchored here at this point, and they're anchored at the other end in the tuning pin which is mounted in the pin block which is firmly attached to the plate. Where the humidity comes into play is on the bridge, this piece here. The bridge is mounted to the soundboard and the strings pass over the bridge and they actually bear down on it a little bit. The bridge stands just a little bit higher than these two anchor points so the string ends up pushing down on the bridge which is mounted to the soundboard which is pushing up on the strings because Soundboards are made with a crown. They're actually arched a little bit upward. And uh, that's done on purpose so that we have this kind of pushing in opposite directions from the string and the soundboard that gives them that potential to take a tiny little vibration in a little wire and make it into great big sounds. So what happens with the soundboard, because it's made of spruce, it can take in a lot of moisture in the moist time of year and it wants the fibers want to expand outward they want to get bigger but they actually can't because the soundboard is held in all the way around by the rim so without being able to move out the soundboard pushes up even higher the crown gets more pronounced in moist times and then in dry times it flattens out so remembering that this bridge is mounted to the soundboard throughout the seasons and even week by week as the weather changes it's fluctuating up and down, making the strings tighter and looser. And in this fluctuation, the strings are able to wiggle and move a little bit and the tuning gradually goes further and further out. One of the most obvious ways you notice tuning going is in unisons. When you play one note, and you hear kind of a wobbling sound, it's oscillating. And that won't happen to every note, like some notes. This one's pretty close. This one's pretty close too. But if I play them both together, we notice they're really quite different. That was an octave there. And that's because this one's near to the middle of the piano, which is affected much more greatly by these fluctuations in the soundboard than things near the edge of the piano. So what can be done about this? Well, the first step is just reducing the fluctuations of humidity in your house. In the summer, using your air conditioner. In the winter, using a humidifier. Now, this customer has a humidistat in their house, so she can keep an eye on what the humidity is like in the room. And it's just a little above 40%, which is a pretty good number. That's what they keep it at in the piano factories. Uh, but it doesn't have to be that exact number. As long as you reduce the fluctuations, you're going to be miles ahead. Another option is to install a Damp Chaser Piano Lifesaver system. It's basically a self-contained humidifier and dehumidifier that mounts on the under underside of your piano. And it keeps like a little microclimate in your piano at a very consistent humidity. I've seen pianos with these on them, uh, as their tunings last much better, they have far fewer problems like sticking keys and loose screws because the wood is very stable, it's not constantly shrinking and expanding. And that's what I'm going to be doing today, is installing a damp chaser system on the underside of this piano. So I'm going to start by looking at what kind of space is available here and deciding where to mount the humidifier and dehumidifier. These are some of the components, we've got a humidistat which measures the humidity right next to the soundboard. This is the humidifier, so it's a tank where water goes, and we've got a heating bar here, and it uses these uh, wicking pads to wick the water up onto the bar. Uh, and then for dehumidifying, it's just a simple heating rod, which uh, is low wattage and it gently drives out some of the moisture. This piano humidity system is all installed. So we've got here, there's the humidifier tank. So in there, there's water with the heater bars. The humidistat is there, controlling both these heater bars, these black bars here, they're mounted along the piano. Everything's tucked up nicely in here. Now one thing maybe you've been wondering already is how do we get the water into the piano? You can see 
this plastic tube that comes along and so the homeowner can get the tube from underneath here. There we go. And a uh, special watering can to fill it with. You this watering can that connects to it. So you add it and then you can just uh, tuck that hose back up in these little clips. Nobody sees it. It's now been three weeks since this damp chaser system was installed on this piano. So the system's had a chance to do its work and to get this piano up to the humidity that it's going to maintain it at. So I didn't tune it right after I installed it because it was going to change anyway in the next few weeks. So now that we know the piano is uh, stable in its humidity, I'm going to tune it. And uh, since installing it, uh, the tuning has moved a little bit. So we know it's, it's doing its job. And uh, this piano owner is doing a good job. They're keeping the... Uh, tank full. We have a little indicator here on the bottom of the piano that, uh, there it is, uh, tells you when to add water and when the pads need changing. So um, looks like it's doing its job. So we're going to tune this up now. This piano has been tuned now and uh, so it should stay that way for quite a while, longer than it would otherwise. Now it's not going to stay perfectly in tune because there are a number of other factors that affect a piano's tuning, uh, but the biggest one, humidity fluctuations, has been uh, taken care of. So it's going to stay in tune a lot longer than it otherwise would. Typically pianos that have humidity systems on them, I see they have far less problems and they just stay in tune much longer. So lots more enjoyment of a well-tuned piano between tunings.